if cosec theta minus sin theta is equal to L and sec theta minus cos theta is equal to M then prove that L square multiplied by M square multiplied by sum of L square M square and 3 is equal to 1 we are given that value of L is cosec theta minus sin theta we know that cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta so it can be written as 1 upon sin theta and then minus sin theta okay so L is equal to 1 minus sin square theta upon sin theta on simplification and then L is equal to cos square theta upon sin theta why because 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta according to trigonometric identities the denominator is sin theta so we got the value of x a value of L is equal to cos square theta upon sin square theta now let us consider second information m is equal to sec theta minus cos theta we know that sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta so we can write sec theta as 1 upon cos theta the second part is minus cos theta on simplification we will get it is 1 minus cos square theta upon cos theta 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta so value of m is sine square theta upon cos theta okay now consider the expression l square m square then l square plus m square plus 3 on substituting these two values the values of L and M in this expression we will get cos square theta upon sine theta square it is L square M square is sine square theta upon cos theta square then once again L square it is cos square theta upon sine theta square then m square it is sine square theta upon cos theta square then plus 3 we can simplify it as cos square theta upon sine theta square it is cos theta raised to power 4 upon sine square theta sine square theta upon cos theta raised to power 2 so it is sin theta raised to power 4 upon cos square theta similarly it is cos 4 theta or cos theta raised to power 4 then sin square theta plus sin theta raised to power 4 upon cos square theta then plus 3 okay now look at the numerator sin 4 theta and this denominator sin square theta after cancellation you will get 1 in place of sin square theta and sin square theta in the numerator similarly you will get 1 here and cos square theta in the numerator so outside the bracket you will have cos square theta sin square theta and inside the bracket the terms are as it is cos theta raised to power 4 upon sin square theta sin theta raised to power 4 upon cos square theta and then plus 3 now we can expand the terms we can multiply the term outside outside the bracket to each terms inside the bracket so doing so we will get cos square theta sin square theta the term outside the bracket is multiplying to the first term so cos square theta sine square theta is multiplying to cos theta raised to power 4 upon sine square theta then plus cos square theta sine square theta is multiplying with the second term so you will have 
cos square theta sin square theta multiplying with sin 4 theta upon cos square theta then this term is multiplying with 3 the result is 3 cos square theta sin square theta all right now sin square theta and sin square theta can be cancelled you will get multiplication of cos square theta and cos theta raised to power 4 or cos 4 theta the result is cos theta raised to power 6 or cos 6 theta okay similarly here cos square theta and cos square theta they, these two terms can be cancelled the result is sin theta raised to power 6 okay plus 3 cos square theta sin square theta now look at these two terms cos theta raised to power 6 and sin theta raised to power 6 we can write it as cos square theta cube plus sin square theta cube plus thrice of cos square theta sin square theta the last part is as it is okay now let us consider identity x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y multiplied by x square plus y square minus x y we can use this identity for the first two terms in this expression where x stands for cos square theta and y stands for sin square theta so doing so the first two terms these two terms can be written as x plus y so it is cos square theta plus sin square theta then x square square of cos square theta that is cos 4 theta then y square it is sin 4 theta then minus x y x square x is sin square theta and y is cos square theta so this is nothing but the first two terms okay then the remaining part is plus 3 cos square theta sin square theta okay now according to trigonometric identities cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so 1 is multiplying to cos 4 theta plus sin 4 theta minus sin square theta cos square theta then addition of 3 cos square theta sin square theta we can write it as cos theta raised to power 4 plus sin theta raised to power 4 minus sin square theta cos square theta plus 3 cos square theta sin square theta okay now here minus sin square theta cos square theta plus 3 cos square theta sin square theta you can write it as plus 2 cos square theta sin square theta now cos theta is to power cos theta is to power 4 it can return as cos square theta square and cos theta is to power 4 is the square of sin square theta okay now look at this expression and please remind the identity x square plus y square plus twice of x y is equal to x plus y whole square here x stands for cos square theta and y stands for sin square theta so using this identity we can write this expression as x plus y whole square once again according to the trigonometric identities cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so we will have 1 square which is 1 itself so in this way we have found the value of l square m square multiplied by sum of l square plus m square plus 3 is equal to 1.